What's up guys, TV Gamer here and welcome back to a new video, so welcome back to another amazing Knights and Dragons video. So guys, today we are here with the Harvester Raid results. So the raid just ended, so today we're going to be reviewing Android, but later on I'm going to be looking at Android and iOS, so I want to look at all of the leaderboards. Sorry, but I currently do, don't have access to an EU account because when I try to create one, it resets to global, it's kind of weird. But anyways, if you are going top 10 or top 3, Feel free to message me online and I'll be glad to showcase your guild and maybe even level up your armor. So here's somebody lending me very cap today. So top rate results, Death Knight over here on Android with 30 billion points. That is absolutely crazy. So his guild ended in rank 10. So that's pretty cool. So congrats to everybody that got their rewards that they wanted. So over here you can see rank 4 was super, super close to the Iron Throne. So Lock City, super, super close. Then you can see the top 10 over here with a huge gap between 5 and 6. And then you see War Angels over here with 9.5 billion points in 10th position. So that is pretty nice with a fairly good lead from the Fiery Slayer. So here is everybody. So all of these people over here are going to be getting the brand new armor. I'm not too sure what is the armor I get. But we'll be looking after this. As you can see, 2 billion points of level. That is absolutely crazy. I don't know how much how people do that. Some people, they probably like don't even sleep or what is maybe more logical, they do it like for the whole day and when they go to sleep, they pass it to somebody else, that way they can still do points, so congrats to this person, the first person in LGX, it is absolutely crazy, crazy amount of points and shout out to his guild also for getting pretty good points and first one 200 million points, that is some pretty nice stuff and him with 33 million points, so over here you will see, okay. He got the beautiful new armor. I was about to call it Agni's Offering, but I know it's not Agni's Offering. I know it is something else, it, but it is the Fire Spirit one, I think. Top 10, so it is a, kind of like a remake of it. Stats, again, really better. And then also two ultra rare Fusion Boost armor, which is definitely going to be useful to level it up. One Dragon Coin over here, and then 70 gems, and also... He came in top 2,000 personal, so he's going to be getting some armor and some fusion boost, which is definitely going to be helping him over here. Alrighty, so we can go over here and equip the armor. So thank you, thank you to Mage Ways Jams. That is a little bit of a tongue twister, but EMP, thank you, bro. Really appreciate it for letting me your account for this video. So if we look over here, I think it is his second Dragon Forge, but yes, yes. Oh, what am I even saying? Shadow Forge. Eternal Agnes, where are you, Eternal Agnes? Yes, over here. Oh, it looks so nice. It is already level 29 or so. And then the other one. So, really good stats. So, match was gems. You have 4,440 attack stats and 3,576 defense stats with 848 health. So, that is uh, some pretty nice stats for a level 1 armor right now. And, of course... We are going to be having the max ascension level stats. So here are the stats for it. So that is absolutely crazy. And also the stun is currently at 8%. But once it's going to be back, it is going to be 15%. So it has currently the normal version of the armor. So let's not waste any time. And let's go directly into leveling it up. So we go over here in the fusion master. Go into enhance. You will see he told me to start uh, basically just with all of his one stars. And then go directly into 2 stars, 3 stars, and 4 stars. And then when I reach 4 stars, to not use his epics, just directly go into Fusion Boost. So, it looked like at first when we looked at it, as you can see, it has 25 uh, Fire ones. So, he has a ton, a ton of those. So, I think we're going to be having enough to max it. Because this one is a Shadow Forge, so it's going to be level 99. So, we are definitely going to be having enough. Want to use all of my 1 stars before going into the 2 stars. This way, at the end, it's going to be costing less gold if I do it efficiently, kind of. But still, no, not not going to use his Nemesis armor. I don't know if he wants it, so I'm not going to be fusing it away. All right. Almost out of one stars already. Was only a few. Then, of course, the two stars is going to be getting much more XP. But looks is basically the same as the other ones. I don't know what's been happening with Greed recently. I don't know. It's just laziness or something. But it seems like they've, uh, they've been uh, recycling a lot, a lot of the armors uh, that they have. Like, for example, the last one, the Aeolian one, it was a air and air double element. Like, a double element, the same thing, air and air. And they made a water 
and air one with it and the same thing with that Agni's offering is now Agni's eternal armor so basically the same looks as the armor but just change stats instead of being dual fire mono is fire and spirit let me know what do you guys think about that in the comments below personally I think it's nice it makes it more fresh for the armor I guess I don't know apart from that maybe it's kind of a bit lazy honestly because look okay new evolution new so but if you already have the armor uh, other armor you can get mixed up or it's just lazy maybe players want new stuff to get new things added to a game but nothing really new added just the same thing being recycled over and over and i heard rumors and stuff about grief being sold to another company or something like that but i've heard like n nothing from a credible source or something like that uh, like Knights of Dragons being sold to another company or something like that. I don't know what's been happening. Well, I heard some rumors that like they didn't have any money to make armors and stuff. That's why they've been recycling stuff. And I think it's maybe out of ideas or too busy or something because I don't think Gris is making out of money because I think they're making like at least like $20,000 a day or something like that. I know, okay, it's maybe not a lot for a game. I have exactly no idea what are the numbers, but even if it's that, that's still good. You can have a ton of employees with it with that amount of money. You can have like, I don't know how many employees, but I don't think it needs like a thousand employees to run a game. Maybe like uh, I went to Game Loft Montreal. They had a g other games like Siege Troll, Dragon Hunter. They had uh, Asphalt 8 games, stuff like that. And just like one game had like 50 employees or so. $20,000 per day for 50 employees. That sounds reasonable. I don't agree how much you guys are being paid, but... If it's if if it's if it's like twenty thousand dollars a day for only few employees is not a lot of money, feel free to engage me. Feel free to engage me. I don't know. It, it's probably even higher numbers. I I have no idea at all. That's what I heard from some people talking. But anyways, doesn't really matter because we are back into the leveling. Still doing that, but using some two stars and some stuff is kind of slow right now. But we still have a few to go, and then going into the three stars and etc. But I really don't want to waste his uh, fusion boost and different stuff because you never know. That is quite useful, so we're just going to be leveling that up. Come on, man. Using those because... If we go back to the two, uh, two or three stars at the end and it's because we were missing some, it's going to cost us a lot, a lot more. So I prefer to use the two stars right now than using them at the end when I don't have enough fusion boost armors. Basically, why is there always a fly? I, it's been like the same fly for like two days now I, I gotta kill it or something i think i'm just too lazy about it kind of okay this one is level 16 i have no idea why but i'm not gonna be using that because i know he maybe has a specific reason to keep it really i don't see why he would keep that anyhow it doesn't matter we are still at 10 million gold still come on i don't know why i just used a few nope are we already in the three stars and four stars? Yes, we are. All right, all right, all right. This is going to be interesting. So right now, using my beautiful four star ones. All right. So this is going to be doing us even more XP. Yes, all right. Let's go into the spirit one. Come on, man. Everybody. Oh, no. Not that one. Why do I always keep on? Okay, it's maybe for farming or maybe for, I don't know, for strip wars or something like that. All right, all right, all right. I just want to see the max ass of the armors. And also, I don't even know how many silver coins does he have. Okay, here is the one that we got. Oh, I guess it's kind of sucks, but it's still fairly decent epics. It's the same element. Uh, that was the epic armor that we got from uh, basically the personal rewards, personal rank. He was like 2,000 or so, but still. That is a nice armor, I guess. Right? Do not use a Dragon Forge. I just have so many ideas for videos and different stuff like that. Feel free, guys, to let me know in the comments below. Do you guys have any update ideas? Of what am I saying? Update ideas. Ideas for future videos. Okay, here is the last evolution of the armor. Is it a bit different than the other Agnes? I don't know. It looks kind of different. I don't know. We'll just see at the end, basically. So now directly going into the Fusion Boost armors. So what I meant to say is that I don't know what to do sometimes so if you guys have any ideas related to uh to other knights and dragons or basically other topics other relevant topics just let me know in the comments below i like to do some 
I thought maybe doing a fusion frenzy challenge or something like that. I think that could be a pretty a pretty entertaining, interesting. Try to say that at the same time. Kind of a tongue twister. So that is basically I saw maybe do a challenge or something like that, and the loser has to fuse away. Like, I don't know, a dragon for something like that. I don't know, but that would be pretty mean, but I think it would be pretty funny. Of course, not use... Oh, boy. Imagine if I had to fuse away, like, one of my strongest ones. Oh, boy. Like, fuse it with, like, a one star or something. I think that would be a mean challenge, but it would be so funny to see. Oh, so funny. But, but also, uh, kind of uh, devilish, kind of uh, uh, Machiavelli kind of stuff. Level 69 right now. Almost level 70 but then the three stars and the four stars is definitely what is gonna be uh raising the bar gonna be finally leveling vix up okay yes i was wondering why like why is there still a two star armor of course this is the one that is currently uh, saving up and i just want to say guys thank you for the uh, support recently on the channel and the other people like yesterday just there we got like 45 new people subscribed to the channel and that is absolutely amazing i just want to say really Thank you to everybody that it is new to the channel. It really means a lot to me. Like, so much, like, random people that don't even know me, like. And I just wanted to say that because recently on the channel, we fit the biggest view-wise in two days. In two days, in the last two days, we've got 21,000 views. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys a little, uh, I don't know, screenshot thing on the screen. Here you could see 21,000 views. I don't know about you guys, just in, like, the last two days. That is absolutely crazy, so I want to really thank you guys and the uh, PewDiePie uh, simulator videos. Like, a ton of people have been enjoying that. Like, my first one got even more than my Nights and Dragons videos. That got, like, 8K or something like that. That is absolutely crazy. Like, 8,000 people super fast. And my Nights and Dragons videos, I've been doing even more well. Like, yesterday's video is already at 4.7 thousand views. So, that is pretty good for me. I know compared to other people, it's not a lot. But for me, I think it's so nice. And as you think, this much people watching me. It's pretty crazy, pretty crazy. So last, but not least, can we max the armor? 98, 98, 99! It is finally max, and now the ascension levels, the ones over here, 2, 3. Okay, so we can basically do the 4 ascension levels, but honestly, I really don't want to do him because I don't even know if he wants to do that. But he had the perfect amount of fusion boost armors and armors, so take your... Okay, this is, he wasn't even sure if he was able to max it, but we were able to, I won't do the essential levels, but basically we can see 150 more attack, and 100 or so more defense, basically. So yeah, so that is pretty much it that we can have with the armor, and now we are going to be seeing it over here. So as you can see, the stats are still super, super good, and the ring and amulet aren't even maxed, and the essential levels are not even done. I think the looks of the of the armors, I do not have any any offering to compare it, but I think the look of the armor is a bit different on that one. I gotta say, compared to Aini's offering, it is a bit different, I think so, from memory. So, 5,799 attack stats and 4,811 defense stats with 848 health. So yes, this is gonna be it guys for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button because that is always appreciated. So be sure to like comment and subscribe for more awesome videos and i'll talk to you guys later peace